I welcome you all to the session of anthropology mind map discussion wherein we will be discussing about the relationship of anthropology with other disciplines. So, let us first dive in into the crux of the mind map what all uh, we have and in the mentioned in the mind map and let us have a birds eye view of the same. So, first of all here I have zoomed it as you can see we have started with anthropology and social sciences. Social science by definition as you know it is the study of human society. So, therein we will be studying uh, how the study of human society concerning human behavior and a culture which is in the arena of social science is related to anthropology. Thereafter we will be going to discuss the relationship of sociology and social anthropology that is another uh, thing which we will be discussing. Thereafter we will be going for the relationship of ethnology and social anthropology and finally we will be going for the relationship of social anthropology and economics. With that we will be wrapping up this mind map session. So, let us proceed. Yes. Now, beginning with the relationship of anthropology and social science. See, uh, here as you know, social science includes your economics, political science, history, sociology, and others. Actually, uh, what I have told you in the beginning that it focuses on the study of human society concerning human behavior and culture, it focuses the study of man as a member of the group or a society. It is basically an academic discipline that is instructed at numerous levels of education and researched at university level. And these are the common branches of uh, you can say social sciences. In India even archaeology also is included. Uh, we have uh, uh, your politics as uh, we have told in political science, psychology is also considered as a part of social sciences. Uh, we have studied about it in the relationship of anthropology and behavioral sciences, but yes psychology is also considered as social sciences, sociology is considered, we have geography, I have already explained you geography and geology, uh, but here even geography is also considered as a social science, archaeology, everything is there. So, uh, according to Comte, see inorganic physical sciences they deal with the most simple and universal phenomena, biological sciences presuppose the phenomena of physical sciences and are more particular or complex and third we have social sciences which presuppose the data of the organic sciences. Krober actually laid the scope and the subject matter of social sciences. He was the one who uh, basically laid down the scope of physical sciences and according to him, uh, I mean social sciences and according to him social sciences dealt with culture as well as social data and according to Krober the objective was to study different aspects of the society, the nature of the study was mental as well as cultural uh, well-being or the uh, phenomenon which involved a society. In Britain, social anthropology actually means ethnology or uh, sociology, but in the US it refers to culture that is why we have the term cultural anthropology. In France, it refers to your structuralism. So, uh, it is highly uh, you can say it is highly culture conscious, it investigates the human culture, it studies uh, basically all aspects of specialization, it specializes all the aspects of the society. Now, uh, there are two kinds of relationship in anthropology, one is the sister type relationship that is anthropology, we have social anthropology, cultural anthropology, ethnology, uh, linguistics, physical anthropology. Another type is your anthropology with economics, politics, uh, history and uh, psychology which are little different. 
I hope you have understood. I'll explain this again. See, this is why why we have mentioned sister type because the subject matter of all these uh, social sciences is almost similar to anthropology. Although not same, it is similar. The arena of study is almost similar. But again, here some of the aspects overlap, while majority of the aspects are divergent. So this is another type of relationship of anthropology with economics, political science, history, and psychology. See, uh, I'll just expand this. I hope it's visible to you all. Here, it's a ten marker question that uh, we have mentioned over here. How do you situate? anthropology in social science we, this has been taken uh, or uh, compiled from uh, different sources and herein you can know the introduction where you will mention uh, what anthropology is it's the scientific study of man in totality in terms of time and space and then uh, you can mention basically what are social sciences which i told you in the beginning uh, here you can add that uh, social science is the study of human society concerning human behavior and culture it's an academic discipline and uh, it's in you know, like it is instructed at uh, various numerous levels of education and researched at university level as well and the common branches are so and so like economics geography history political science psychology sociology archaeology all these things you can mention then uh, situating anthropology in social sciences you can mention over here that it not only deals anthropology not only deals with the evolution but also we study about the culture we study about behavior language religion everything we study in the social context in the cultural context uh, that human beings involve themselves in that you can mention and then uh, you can go for the numerous branches of anthropology and how they can be situated see first of all physical or biological anthropology here it's a scientific discipline and uh, it's related to uh, how uh, the aspects of human beings the behavioral as well as the biological aspects of human beings and the related your uh, non human primates and uh, obviously we cannot ignore the extinct hum uh, hominid ancestors as well so here we get uh, a biological perspective of the entire system of uh, human beings from right from the past unseen past till the present then you have socio cultural anthropology explain all these things okay and in the end uh, you can just mention how uh, we situate uh, anthropology in your uh, social sciences because um, you can uh, just mention these are uh, it's a it's a discipline like uh, the scientific study of humanity is referred as uh, anthropology and it's a perfect blend of uh, natural science and social science how uh, natural science we can mention in your physical uh, anthropology and all social science we have social anthropology and uh, the subject we include human behavior the cultural relations the effect of evolution on humanity which is again a part of uh, anthropology and not just on uh, humanity the effect of evolution of humanity on uh, the society's structure is also studied then we have archaeological anthropology herein you can explain the field of archaeology is an important one in studying the social sciences in india already we know that because we get to pictureize what life was once or how the social scenario or the social uh, fabric was uh, weaved in the past so archaeology is very much important for studying the social sciences and it involves human evolution and development through like we study that through material remains found on the earth it's an evidence based study and here we require excavation work and material analysis and surveillance so uh, here archaeological anthropology also uh, helps in understanding the development of human culture then when we come to economics here i have mentioned uh, here the, it has been mentioned about economics as well so i'll explain you see uh, the field of economics involves the production distribution and consumption of goods and services we already know that okay it's an uh, uh, it's 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 just uh, that we have to understand uh, that how things work used to work in primitive society with relation to production distribution and the consumption of goods as well as not just goods goods as well as services how they utilized their resources uh, all these things are studied in uh, economics and that is important for understanding the economy anthropology also helps in understanding the economy of 
primitive societies not just primitive societies and simple societies also so uh, this is what you have to mention and uh, you can uh, just write in the conclusion part uh, before concluding you can write how uh, anthropology is not just a part of social sciences but also it is a unique social science so you have to mention that uh, how social anthropology studies the human behavior uh, here uh, we study human behavior in all its totality uh, we use data collection like sampling your statistical techniques and uh, e even uh, we conduct uh, the study of caste system the village community the social class the power relation the ethnicity the races everything uh, we do uh, we do conduct uh, same st like uh, studies and researches on that so all that you can mention as well and uh, again you can also mention that it is just it's it's difficult to identify anthropology with social sciences alone it can be identified as natural science as well but at the same time it fits somewhere in between the two more of a free science with interactions cutting across old divisions and developing a holistic science for humans you cannot completely yes it is an uh, it is a unique social science but at the same time also it uh, we cannot deny the fact that it can be identified as natural science as well so we have to fit it somewhere between these two okay we can mention it in the uh, uh, conclusion along with this that we can uh, um, uh, fit anthropology somewhere between social science and natural science and it's it's more of a free science with interactions we have cutting uh, like the old divisions which we have it uh, does not rely on that old division of uh, sciences and it cuts across that and it develops a holistic science for human beings okay it's a whole science as we at, as it has been mentioned here it's a whole science for human being so this is what we have discussed till now about anthropology and social sciences come to the next topic of discussion that is uh, sociology and social anthropology so first let's understand that see both of them are closely related social anthropology usually has been identified or defined as the study of other cultures and it employs a take the technique of participant observation and collecting qualitative data social anthropology and uh, sociology both of them are similar uh, but they are not identical at least they are not identical uh, in terms of how each discipline has uh, evolved uh, right from uh, uh, their evolution till now they are, they are not similar they do, they do not have the similar kind of evolution okay uh, see uh, social anthropology it has uh, if you can see if, uh, before ex going to the mind map just i'll give you a birds overview or i'll give you the crux of what this exactly is social anthropology has always focused on pre industrial societies and sociology has always focused on industrial societies understand that social anthropology has focused on pre industrial society while sociology has always puts has always put its focus on industrial society anthropologists have conducted the research on in other cultures like they have employed uh, the different technique of participant observation as i told you they have uh, like cross cultural analysis uh, like uh, what is we can say uh, the comparison between uh, uh, cultures the cross cultural analysis all that and sociologists what they have done is they did research on their own societies they have used questionnaire or again we come to the data collection but they uh, have tested their own society they have not done generalizations cross culturally they have not examined societies cross culturally and they have not generalized uh, like the anthropologists have done of course uh, there you can say there have been exceptions also sometimes uh, sociologists have done that but this is the basic thing this is the basic arena where the sociologists work they do not do cross cultural studies like anthropologist you there can be some exceptions here and there but most of them do not do that so uh, this is uh, what the exact uh, difference or uh, 
the exact uh, relation if the, even if they are closely related as, as we have mentioned, but they are uh, completely different, different in their ideologies. See sociology studies uh, like what we have mentioned in the mind map let us go to that sociology studies human behavior in groups right it is the sci science of man it studies human behavior in social surroundings. Subject matter is uh, like uh, is common to a great extent as I have told you both of them study human beings but and uh, at the same time they highly influence also each other for example the ideology of Darkim or Durkheim as you can uh, call he, he was a sociologist it has influenced the doctrines of anthropologists like Malinowski and Radcliffe Brown. Uh, see Hobel also was uh, uh, like uh, he was uh, an anthropologist who proclaimed that uh, sociology and social anthropology are one and the same. Even Ivan Spreched what he said is that social anthropology is a branch that devotes in the study of primitive society and it can be regarded as a branch of sociological studies as both social anthropology and your sociology study the society. Though so scientists regarded uh, it as a branch of sociology the social anthropology was initially regarded as a branch of sociology because the subject matter of both is same that is they study humans in a society the behavior of humans in a society. But at the same time as I have told you they differ on uh, some points the, the, the basically the field difference. The field difference is that social anthropology focuses on primitive societies or the pre-industrial societies as I have told you, but sociology is more concerned with civilized societies or the industrial societies. Then we have some methodological differences like social anthropology employs field work as a source of data generation ok. Here uh, we need to get we need to do field work in order to generate some qualitative data, but sociology depends on the collection of documents and uh, generation of you can say uh, statistical data ok. So, uh, they study just the statistical data they are not concerned with uh, the collection of data or the generation of data they are not concerned with that. So, sociologists what they do is basically they research their own societies as I have told you they uh, use the questionnaires ok. They uh, do not attempt anything cross culturally. Then uh, we will go to the holistic and specific differences. Uh, social anthropologists what they do they make holistic study of a primitive society, but sociology actually uh, they are more concerned with some specific problems that occur in a society or that is plaguing a society. What they do is basically sociologists they work in familiar cultures with the same language, the same basic concepts, the same categories are like as the people they study ok. They belong to the same category as the people whom they study and they uh, uh, the uh, you can say uh, they are concerned of uh, their investigation and their understanding of social relation is concerned with their own society or the industrial society. Thus, uh, we can go for the next thing that is your uh, philosophical orientation. In anthropological studies see the theoretical input is relatively less, but here in sociological approach and it has a social philosophy and there is some uh, we have yes we do have theories you, you will you will be studying uh, further when we study further you will be understanding anthropological theories are there. But in sociology it has something called social philosophy it has a little it is little bent towards the philosophical orientation it is little philosophical in nature there are social philosophies uh, and th there are some theoretical approaches, but that is uh, you can say it is not although it is not absent it is less in uh, social anthropology and or in anthropology per se. Then we have the specialization of uh, social anthropology it rests on the primitive people and the methodology of research it makes information about the primitive social life basically. Uh, through what do we do? We do field work analysis of 
small scale society. So, it takes long time to generate data for an anthropologist, but at the same time it is not that much difficult for a sociologist to generate data, because they uh, chiefly study the uh, social organizational characteristics of more complex and western societies, wherein the data or the statistical uh, you can say input is readily available. But in uh, when anthropologist uh, study primitive societies, there the data is not readily available, they have to stay there and do field work analysis in order to get the data. Another difference which I want to mention over here, you can write that social anthropology is a whole science because it deals uh, not just social anthropology, you can mention complete anthropology and sociology if you say. Anthropology is a whole science because it deals with the totality of human beings that is biology, culture, society, everything all uh, it deals with all the aspects of human being and at the same time it deals with all varieties of humankind across time and space uh, like the primitive humans as well as the present ones. But on the other hand, sociology is a part science because it deals with the society and culture of the present rural you can say the rural population or urban population, but it studies the uh, industrial societies or the present societies. Hence, uh, it has limited scope social uh, sociology has limited scope because it is concerned with the just the contemporary rural and urban societies. But anthropology has universal scope, here you can answer questions like uh, scope of anthropology, how uh, the scope of anthropology is uh, universal, you can mention in such a manner. Next uh, we will go for a question here which is uh, mentioned like uh, discuss the relationship of anthropology with sociology. Uh, what we have discussed till now that is basically uh, the answer you uh, you just see the structure how it has been written over here. Uh, first in the introduction you need to mention uh, both are related uh, and uh, see it has it has asked the relationship of anthropology with, soci with sociology it has not asked the difference. So, when you are asked about the relationship mention introduction write the differences as well as the converging points or the similarities ok divergent points or the con and the converging points also. Relationship of anthropology with sociology here you have to write the similarities like the meaning of social structure, then comparative sociology, sociological studies all these things you can mention. How uh, yes another way of writing is uh, how sociology influences anthropology, how anthropology influences sociology or social anthropology influences sociology, how physical anthropology influences sociology that you can also write, then you can write go for the differences and finally, you can conclude. Again I will repeat what you have to do when such a question comes, you have to see how much marks is allotted obviously, if, uh, for I am telling this uh, for the state PSC as well, in UPSC we already know fixed marks is allotted, but for state PSC sometimes you have uh, 20 markers, sometimes you have a 60 marker as in Odisha PSC. So, you have to see how much marks is allotted for that question, then uh, while attempting you have to write the introduction, uh, since it has asked the relationship. So, go for the similarities first, then write down how uh, each stream or each discipline influences the, the other right, how uh, economics influences sociology, uh, I mean um, I am not telling economics I am sorry, uh, uh, how sociology influences social anthropology or anthropology as a whole and how uh, social anthropology influences sociology, how physical anthropology influences sociology and then finally, write the differences and the conclusion and that will be a uh, you can say a perfect answer as we can say.